<clears throat> Hello, I'm Pete Gerlach. I'm the author of the Break the Cycle nonprofit educational website. The first of eight self-improvement lessons in that website has to do with answering the question, who are you? The answer generically is, you are a group of talented personality subcells. Uh, this video is to help you find out who are your subcells. Uh, to get the most out of this video, I ask that you first uh, view the brief video whose link you now see, and then read an article on my free website uh, at the link I now show you. Doing those two things will prepare you to understand what I'm about to say. If you've already done that, uh, you're probably curious, saying, well, if I'm all these subcells, how do I find out who they are? Here is a pretty straightforward way. Um, start with the idea that every trait, every characteristic of you as a unique person, male, female, doesn't matter, every trait that you have that you observe or that other people observe are caused by one or several subcells. Um, so if you have a good sense of humor, you have a subself that specializes in that. If you're patient or impatient, if you're kind or if you're insensitive or if you're angry or if you're quiet or shy, any um, characteristics like that are brought to you by one or several well-intentioned subcells that help to make up your inner family, in other words, your personality. <clears throat> you might be curious, saying, well, oh, okay, so let me find out uh, who are my subcells. Here's a way to do that. Start with a piece of paper, um, oriented long ways up, Divide it into four vertical columns. In the leftmost column, write down every trait you can think of that, in your opinion, describes who you are. I'm funny, I'm hardworking, I'm friendly, um, I love nature, anything. Um, as a double check, show this list after you make it, rough draft, Show this list to someone who knows you well, see if they agree with the traits that you've listed, and see if they have some that they would add that you didn't. Be alert for avoiding your less fun traits. For example, uh, if you tend to interrupt people because you're impatient and you already know what they're going to say, um, you might want to avoid listing, I interrupt. I'm an interrupter. Um, You'll get the most out of this exercise by putting down the traits that you like and the traits you're not crazy about. Okay, this is not about finding out what makes you a good or bad person. It's about finding out who are you. You're a group of talented subcells. In the leftmost column, list every trait you can think of and have other people advise you and see if they can add any that makes sense to you. So now you've got a couple, you know, you've got a column of anywhere from 10 to 25 traits. Consider those, each separate trait, as a subself. Um, in the next column, if you've done the homework that I suggested before you got here, estimate, if you can, for each subself, each trait, is this an inner child? Is this a guardian? Or is this a manager? Uh, that will make more sense if you've done the homework that I asked you to do first. So that's the second column. And it's okay not to know. It's okay to guess. You don't have to get this perfectly in case you have a perfectionist subself. So that's the second column. In the third column, go back down your list one at a time and estimate just with a feeling, you don't have to compute. 
Do not compute. Trust the first thing that comes into your mind as you look at a given trait. Um, <clears throat> like if you put lazy, for example. Look at that trait. Imagine a sub self brings you that and just sense, intuit. Is this sub self male, female, or neither? You can also simply put a question mark if you don't get a clear answer. You go through every sub self and estimate its gender. The fourth column, go back over your list one at a time. And again, using the same kind of intuition, don't compute, because your sub selves are likely to skew your answers. Look at each uh, trait of yours, each sub self, and just ask yourself, how old is this one developmentally? You may get a real clear reading, you may not. For example, if one of the traits that might describe you is, I'm playful, that's probably an inner child. And she or he might be anywhere from 4 to 7 to uh, 11. But just, this is all kind of guesswork. It's based on your intuition. Go over each uh, sub-self and estimate how old do you think it is. You might say over 20, very old. Some parts have no age. Some parts don't have human age. Um, they can be thousands of years old. So don't try and be too precise or realistic. Just trust whatever comes to you for each sub-self. Your unconscious mind knows a good deal more than you know, and it's helpful to trust your intuition and your sense and your imagination here. So now you've got four columns with information. This provides a blueprint, a tentative rough draft blueprint of who are your subselves. <clears throat> when you're done, take a break if you need to, come back, uh, get undistracted again, look at the list and one by one make a judgment who in calm times when I am not stressed, which one of these subselves is probably active. Again, trust your intuition and your instinct. Try not to compute. If you have an analyzer subself, as many of us do, <clears throat> he or she will try and dictate, well, this one's probably in charge. Don't listen to that. Use your intuition. Trust the first thing that comes to you. Highlight <clears throat> or circle or asterisk the parts that, in your opinion, are most influential in your life. They can be inner kids, they can be guardians, they can be managers, okay? Look to see if in your list of parts, a part is a sub -cell, part of your personality, you have included something that looks like true self, or leader, or CEO, or chairperson, or president, or some, some part that it seems like he or she is in charge. Frequently, when I've had people do this exercise, they leave that out. Double check your work and see if you've allocated somebody that is in charge of you. That's the one you want to free and be running your life most of the time. Okay? When you've done this, you may move on to another useful exercise Pick any one of these subcells and experiment with having an inner dialogue with this subcell. You can <clears throat> you can talk to your subcells internally, get mental conversations with any one of or several of your subcells. See the video that shows you how to do that uh, in the lesson one playlist. Uh, but get to know several of your subcells. It will make them more real, and you'll begin to see what's possible in doing inner family therapy, meaning how to free your true self to lead you and organize and guide all your other sub-selves so you live a more serene, productive, healthy life. 
This sounds like science fiction. I hope you'll explore it and see what happens. Um, a final piece of work you can do to follow up on this is to read another article in Lesson 1 in my nonprofit website. Here's the address of that uh, article. It's a five-page article that tells you in detail how to work with your subcells. It's called parts work. So I hope you get curious and continue to seek an answer to who am I? Have fun.